Whoa, what is this? This thing is huge. I think this is the big thing you build rockets in. Oh. Hey, who are you? Hi, I'm Buzz. What's your name? I'm Hood Hat. Let's make a rocket. Wait, hang on. You need to get some contracts first. We gotta pay for the dumb thing. Here, come over here. Let's get a contract. Huh, all right. But only if we get to make a huge rocket. I want it to go fast, and I want it to explode, and I want it to have boosters, and I want it to have big engines, and lots of fuel tanks. Awesome. Let's hit it. Well, 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 welcome everybody to episode number one of Space Patrol, a modded Kerbal Space Program series that has been a long time coming, but it is finally here. I've promised and I've talked about this series for a long time, and we're ready to go. We have the return of our heroes, Buzz and Hut Hat our old favorites, and they have a new adventure to embark upon, because this time things are going to be very, very different. Let's see how high we are. Our apoapsis is six minutes away, and then we'll have another six minutes coming back down, so we've got some time to talk. I hope you enjoyed the little cinematic intro. I'd like to do one of those for each episode. Some of them will be shorter, some of them will be longer. I'd like to inject a little bit more flavor and character into our protagonists, Hud Hat and Buzz. Um, sometimes there will be a montage of the rocket launch, like in this episode. Sometimes there won't be. I'm going to play it by ear. Let me know what you like, and as the series goes on, uh, I'll sort of tailor things, and I'll continue to modify and tweak things and experiments. But uh, I, I'm really excited for this series. So I hope you guys are ready for a new adventure in Kerbal Space Program. Let's do an EVA, and I'll, run, I'll do a quick rundown of the different mods I'm going to be using. All right, Hud Hat. Tell you what, uh, here, let go. Now that noise you hear is one of the mods. The mods I'm using fall into three categories, I would say. First category would be parts mods that add a lot of new parts to the game. Second mod would be graphical, visual, and audio enhancement mods, which do things like add the cloud layer you see beneath us. Third category will be kind of enhancements to gameplay. Okay, so let's do an EVA report. EVA report, while in space, high over Kerbin. You've recorded your observations about the situation. Eight. All right, keep that data. And Hud Hat here is going to stay put ski. Let's switch to Buzz. Buzz is going to do... Buzz is going to do a crew report from inside. This is separate science, but we can bring them both back since I brought two command capsules so they could both come for the maiden voyage. Now, I wanted to have the first rocket get all the way into orbit. We are playing in point two five, so we have a number of contracts, which is a new thing added to the game in the most recent patch. Or no, it was added in point two four, but I haven't played regularly since then, at least not for YouTube video purposes. So we've already completed several. We launched a new vessel. We set an altitude record of 5,000 meters 
and we escape the atmosphere. We have another one to orbit Kerbin, which we'll do next time. I wanted this rocket to do that, but one of the things that was added in point two five is the buildings in the uh, space center are now destructible, and that includes, yeah, you guessed it, that includes the launch pad. So if your ship is too heavy and you don't have the launch stability clamps which lift it off the pad, you will flat out make the pad explode. Uh, so I couldn't do that super huge rocket at the beginning, but that's okay. We'll get there. So let me go over the parts list. Or not the part list, but the mods that we decided to use, or that I decided to use. Where have I drifted off to? <laughs> I'm looking for the other sh Oh, they're up here. Okay. Wow, we drifted far. Look at that. Okay, good thing I paid attention. And we're close to our Apoapsis, so I can't stick around in EVA for too much longer. Okay, so the parts. Uh, the mods. The part-related mods I'm using are KW Rocketry. B9 Aerospace. Uh, KW adds a lot of rocket parts. B9 adds a lot of space plane parts. And later, super huge stuff. Okay, slow down. Let's be more or less the same speed as that guy. I'm using Infernal Robotics, which gives us some parts to move things, like levers and gears and um, hinges, things like that. I'm using Interstellar, which is going to give us some end game, really cool stuff. And we'll get into these more as the series goes. I'll try to introduce things as we explore them. Uh, I'm using Near Future Construction for just a few parts that I thought were cool. And Kerbal Attachment System, which adds... Basi it's basically like a super strut <laughs> mod. And one of the things you can do with that mod is you can add struts to a rocket already in space. So you can reinforce your space station, for, in for instance. All right, so those are the major part mods. The visual mods and audio mods I'm using are environmental visual enhancements, which adds the clouds and stuff. And then astronomer's visual pack, which kind of builds on top of that. And then planet shine. I don't know if we can see planet shine from where we are. How much time do we have? Okay, we've got about six minutes. We're doing okay. Planet shine, which is a lighting mod, which we'll uh, highlight later. Maybe when we get into orbit, we might be visible. Then I'm using Hot Rockets, which replaces the, the rocket animations for a number of the rockets. I'm using Chatterer, which is kind of the radio sound you've been hearing in the background. Also add some other things, like a, a, a venting airlock sound when you leave a command pod. I'm using Texture Replacer, which I've used to give our guys some unique suits. These suits will only show up on these guys. So Hut Hat is always going to be red. And Buzz is always going to be blue. And when we introduce new characters in the future, uh, they will have unique suits as well. Now, I got a, a version of these suits from the Renaissance pack, which gives a bunch of different textures for the suits and the faces. And then I've modified them. The red and the blue suits here are my modified versions that I've custom made. This is Buzz right here. He's got like a little hood on. And then here's Hut Hat. Uh, you can't really see it because the lighting isn't the best. Let's see, where's the light? There we go. There's his beard. He's got a beard. And then the gameplay mods I'm using are Kerbal Engineer, which gives you some information on uh, how much Delta V your different stages of your rocket have. That's the main thing I use it for. Contract window, which is right here, which will head, let you line up when to leave for a moon or a planet. When's the best time? Or no, that's, I'm sorry, that's transfer window planner. Contract window is a mod that sort of gives a, a more detailed contract window. I'm not sure if I'm even gonna use that. Then I've got camera tools, which I've used to move the camera around to film stuff like that intro introductory cinematic you just watched. And then editor extensions, which is useful for building rockets. Uh, a little bit more flexible than the default system. Okay, we are descending. We still have a little bit of time before I need to get in the rocket. We're still at 392,000. I just don't want these guys drifting that far. I'll give you a quick little demonstration of camera tools because it's really cool why can't i see it turn on there it is 
Okay, so what I can do, I can, let's see, frame of reference. Let me set it to initial velocity. And then I'll set my target as Hut Hat. I think I can set it as him. Yes, Hut Hat Kerman. Then if I hit the home key, let me turn off the UI, hit the home key. Whoa. Okay, I guess he's accelerating towards the ground. Okay, let me turn the UI back on. Let me switch it to... I don't want it to surface. Uh, okay, uh, maybe auto zoom? Let's see what happens now. It's still going to do that because we're accelerating towards the surface. Okay, that'll be more useful when we're in orbit or when we're on the surface on the ground. Uh, or if we're on a moon. <laughs> I'll try to do some cool shots. But that's what I'm going to be using to film the introductory sequences. And we're going to start accelerating faster and faster towards the ground. So let's get these guys back in their ships. Before we run out of time. Okay, you can get in. Uh, great. Okay. You bounced off. Let's go in a little bit slower. All right, that's you. Hut Hat is in. Buzz, it's your turn. You have to get all the way over there, and you've only got like 15 minutes to do it in. Can you do it? Here, I guess I can... Let me close that camera tools window. Try to keep the, the UI experience as uncluttered as possible. We've got a uh, some buttons here. Now, some of the mods I haven't mentioned, because some mods come bundled with other mods. Uh, certain mods rely on other mods to, to help them do what they need to do. They come bundled with them, and so I, I've probably forgotten a few mods here and there. I will try to keep a more or less complete list in the description, and if you search those names on the, the Kerbal Space Program forums, or alternately, uh, on the, the Curse site where they, they host all the mods now. Uh, you should be able to find everything you need. Alright, we are starting to descend more rapidly. Looks like we will come back fairly close to the, the Space Center, but not too far. Don't want to crash down into the actual building. Uh, because then it might explode and it is very expensive to repair. So tell you what, uh, we, I want to spend a part of the video going over the, the, the contracts and the, the research tree and what we unlock. So let's just skip to when we're a little lower. Blam! We made it! And thankfully, actually, that booster decided to leave us. Alright, uh, well, one last thing I want to do. Let's... Whoa! Boss! Careful! Uh, let's... Whoa, the camera is freaking out. Let's get just a little bit more science. Let's take a surface sample from Kerbin's Highlands. This is dirt and grass and some small rocks. You suspect this isn't going to be much of a groundbreaking discovery, but we're going to get nine science for it, so I'll keep that. And an EVA report for an extra 2.4. Keep that, get back in, and let's recover. See how much we got. So here's what we ended up with in the maiden voyage of the Space Patrol. So various EVA reports and crew report and a surface sample. And the recovery of the vessel, we ended up with 52 science. Excellent. Next, parts recovered. We get some funds back. We're now up to a total of 84,000. We started out with 25,000. And crew, Hut Hat and Buzz, both returned. Our reputation has increased. Okay, let's take a look at a few things. We've got some new buildings since the last time I released a regular Kerbal Space Program series on the interwebs. So we've got this building here, which we won't be using too much, I don't think, for a little while. But basically what you can do is you can redirect resources from one type into another. So we've got this uh, reputation bar here, which we've just started getting reputation for. So if you crash ships, you're gonna lose reputation. If you do cool things, you're gonna get more. We've got science, which we've dealt with before, and we've got funds, which are also new. We just got for completing those uh, objectives. So what you can do, for instance, if you wanna do a fundraising campaign, 
you can you can take your reputation takes five percent of your reputation gains and you can get some extra uh, you can get some extra money some funds so you can turn any of the one into the other um, from from these three resources that we have here we're not really gonna worry about that right now let's look at oh, what man. contracts we have Gene Carmen here let, can I get him to do that again I love it when he does this oh, man. Oh, man. okay so we're gonna be using mostly modded parts for this series and unfortunately uh, the game doesn't dynamically look at what parts you have and create contracts from them from them mm -hmm. uh -huh. Uh -huh, uh -huh. so things like this test mark 16 parachute in flight over Kerbin. let's see activate the part through the staging sequence when all test conditions are met you have to be between altitudes 13,000 and 18,600, and you have to be within these speeds. These are kind of fiddly, and they only get you like a thousand credits or, or units or whatever they're calling them, funds. We've already got 84,000, so whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, test the solid fuel booster. I think those are the ones, I, I can never remember the individual names for most parts, but I think these are the ones we were just using. And again, you get 50 for completing that. Who cares? Test mm -hmm. TR-18A mm -hmm. stack decoupler. Another 126. We don't care, right? We've got this one. Get into orbit. Complete 60,000. That seems much more worthy. So we're just going to go for that. Let's take a look at the tech tree. I'll try to do this kind of stuff at the end of each video. So people that aren't interested in this kind of stuff and just want to see the big ships, uh, you can just feel free to check out and... Uh, Look into the next video when it comes out. We started out with these parts, and one of the new options you can add when you start the game is you can select for parts to cost funds after you've researched them with science. And I have enabled that because I think that's a cool idea. So let's research that first bracket. Nothing happened. Oh, I think this may be a bug. Okay, it's there now. So I researched that with my science. And I don't actually have any of these parts yet. We have to buy them. So I'm going to get this stack decoupler for 1,200 funds. And I'm going to get this uh, fuel tank. These are both Kerbal rocketry parts. These are the ones we have. Let's see, what is this? This is another fuel tank. This is It's the half version of that. This is... An even smaller tank, I think. Here is a solid rocket booster. Let's get that. I would like to use mostly modded parts, just for sake of variety, since I've spent so much time using the normal parts. Okay, and then we can either get lander stuff. We're going into orbit next, so that's not my immediate concern. Uh, these parts would probably be good. Okay, and it's not updating properly. So we got those parts. And the next bracket takes 45 science. I don't have that much. What I would really like are these launch stability enhancers so that I can lift my rocket off the launch pad so it doesn't explode from the sheer weight of my rocket. Uh, but we can't get that. We can't get this either. So which of these two? We can only get one of these. We can either get radial decouplers, which are nice. Yeah, let's get the radial decoupler, decouplers for the solid rocket boosters. Oh, I have to research first, right. Okay, let's come back here. I don't need the, the lander stuff yet, because we're just going into orbit next time. We'll get this for the third episode, where we probably go to the moon. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Depends on what kind of contracts we get offered. I'm going to want... Oh, hey, hang on. These are Separatrons... Okay, so this is a, a rocket with a thrust of 230 and a uh, efficiency rating of 370. I want that for sure. Bigger fuel tank. I don't want these standard parts. Uh, now these rock, these Separatrons, I think this one fires from the top. And I think this one is normal. There are 1,400 each. Let's just get both. 
And then what is this guy? This guy has uh, a, an efficiency, an ISP of 400, compared to this guy's 370. But I'm only going to unlock the parts I plan to use, like, right away. And when I need more, I will buy them then. So do I want anything else? Maybe some tail fins. Okay, I think that'll do it. With those parts, we should be able to get into orbit without a, sh a rocket that's so heavy that the launch pad explodes just from putting it on top of it. All right, so that's it for episode one. Please leave your feedback below. Uh, this series has a lot of potential to go in different ways, and uh, I'm going to continue to tune the series based on the way individual episodes go. And there's a, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be experimenting a lot with different things. So let me know what you think, and we'll see you next time for more of the Space Patrol modded Kerbal Space Program. See you later. Bye-bye.